Tom. I'm Mary, and together we are Momentary. We're here in Jamaica on our honeymoon, and as you can see, there are love heart petals that were left there for our honeymoon. Lovely staff here at, what's it called? Sea Garden Resort. Resort. Sea Garden Resort in Montego Bay in Jamaica. They even got us a lovely little cake. Yeah, they've been amazing. We will be back, I reckon. <laughs> okay, Jamaica. Jamaica is famous for red stripe, red stripe lager, which we've seen. We've seen, we've tried quite a few different types, haven't we? We've had sorrel, lemon, and the regular one. I haven't tried any others. Have you? No, we saw there was an apple one, but we haven't tried it yet. But sorrel, sorrel is a flower? You quite like it. That's your favourite of the flavours. I wouldn't ones. say favourite, but I, I don't mind it, yeah. Last night we were in Kingston and we went to a Mellow Vibes event at the cricket ground and Bounty Killer was performing mm. eventually after about five hours of us being there. <laughs> yeah. It was about three o'clock in the morning. Uh, but yeah, there were loads of DJs. I drank a sorrel. Good vibes. So we haven't had much sleep. How much sleep did we have before yeah. we had to catch the bus, I mean, Tom? So we've had yeah, less than two hours sleep probably and we've just eaten loads of food. We haven't really caught up at all and we've got to get up early because we're off to Costa Rica tomorrow. And so we thought we'd quickly try and shoehorn in this in. We've got 11 minutes to do this um, and that will be that. So we've spoken about Red Stripe. But in Jamaica, they seem to be going wild for a different kind of drink. A drink called Magnum. This is a tonic wine. It's really a lot stronger than I thought it was going to be. It's 16.5%. And we had it yesterday at the uh, Mellow Vibes event. How much did we have, look? Half a bottle? <laughs> Half a bottle. And it's a small bottle. It's 200 milliliters, I think. We went um, very wild. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta be cautious. But this is kind of loved by a lot of Jamaicans. It's, uh, as you can see from the picture, a little bit raunchy, okay, and it's meant to be something that people might take to, to heighten their mood for a night out without going into more detail than that. It's made from lots of good things for you, I think. We don't know because there are no ingredients yeah. listed on the bottle, so we don't know what's in it, but... Many Jamaican men have told us that they like to drink this before a night out, that it's very good for them. It's got iron and vitamins, it says on there. Iron and vitamins, iron there and you vitamins. go. Um, so that's something oh, that we, we will be trying. We'll be finishing this on, on this. This might wake us up a little bit. We'll see what happens. But yeah, we are tired. But that's not the only drink we've got today, no. Backstory. We just arrived back in Kingston and a guy who actually had his leg in plaster, didn't he? He came oh, kind yeah. of hobbling over and he was like, oh, you should buy this. It's a special tonic. It's a health thing. It's really good for you. You should buy it from me. And, and like all Jamaicans, he had really good chat, didn't he? Like he was very convincing. I felt like I wanted to help him. He agreed to give him some money, not lots, like maybe five pounds equivalent, something like that. He even prayed with us, didn't he? He took our hands. And he said... He gave us a special blessing. Yeah, he wanted to give us a special blessing because we bought his special drink. After a few hours, I thought I would try some. I kind of had a look at the bottle as I picked it up and thought, hmm, that looks a bit strange. It's kind of like cloudy. It's kind of got yeah. bits. Yeah, there are bits it. in there. And you can see the bits at the top have got stuck. I picked it up thinking, I'm going to have some of that. You know, a little shot of this health drink. He said it had fresh mango in it. Oh, really? Yes. So he sold it in a very different way to what it is. So then <laughs> I unscrewed the cap poured a little bit into a glass and then I smelt it. I nearly gagged. You know, my first thing was like, oh no, this guy has done something really disgusting, put it in a bottle and sold it to us, like us being foreigners, as a kind of like a F you thing. <laughs> so I didn't drink it. I tipped it away, washed the glass very, very well, just thought, oh well, we've kind of been been had. And then we kind of dug a little bit deeper into this puzzle of these drinks with the locals of Jamaica and everyone was like, no, nah, that's Roots, Roots drinks. Yeah, it's great. Smells really bad. I've got some quotes that I've written down from uh, people that we've come across. There was a guy called Michael Fabulous who we met at the Bob Marley Museum and he said, what is bitter for the mouth is good for the belly. And I know that, I think my mum has said, the worse medicine tastes, the better it is for you, and that kind of thing. So I, I was hearing you kind of going, oh, it smells so bad, there's no way I'm trying that. And I was kind of like, come on, you can give that a go. And then I smelt it, and yeah, it did seem like excrement in a bottle, <laughs> uh, which we'd paid for. See, on the bottle, there's even a um, telephone number, so I even, like, WhatsApp that guy, asked him about it, like... 
just kind of wanted assurance that I wasn't going to eat something or drink something that was actually someone's waste. And that could give you cholera or something, yeah. right? I mean, it wasn't a sealed bottle. It's clearly been uh, been bottled by a different company or something, I don't know, but it's not. it doesn't match up. He said that it mellows over time, so gradually it might not be as pungent, but I don't know if that's true. Oh, the guy with the beret at, uh, what's it called? Devon House. Oh, yes. he, t- he said he sleeps with a bottle of that by his bedside every night. And it's kind of something that they drink when they wake up. Like, it's a big thing, these roots drink. He had another really insightful... So many Jamaicans have insightful comments, don't they? They just seem to come out with wisdom all the time. And he said something like, taste is relative. If we grow up drinking something like this, which is what lots of Jamaicans do, it's not going to be so bad. You know, we haven't adapted to have these kind of flavours in our mouth or to eat roots. We haven't talked about what it's actually made from, have we? But we don't really know, to be honest. We need to find out more about it. Have you drunk roots drinks? I said to him, will we really be able to drink that if we've not adapted to it? And he said, it's just one moment, one moment of change. I'm going to drink this. We're going to smell it and see if we want to. Okay. But I'm concerned. I mean, we've, we've learned this about. I felt ill for a really long time after I'd smelt this last time. So Think. not really looking forward to smelling it again. Let's see if it's the same smell. Maybe I take the first whiff and I give you a heads up. It's... I would say it has mellowed, but I think it still has that kind of It's bubbling bio... up. Look how much is bubbling Whoa, up. Oh, that's scary. Look at that. It's going mad. That tells you, doesn't it, that this is not something we should deal with, I don't think. Well, oh, yeah. no, Nobody should drink uh, fizzy drinks, should they? Look at how gross it is at the top. Just all the chunks coming out. Get a multi-view of that. Okay. Are you sure you want to smell this? No. <laughs> it's going to fizz again, isn't it? Not if I'm careful. Oh. Ooh. Actually, no, don't put the lid on it. I'm, uh, I'm smelling it. It's still it. bubbling, though. I'm scared it's just going to keep going upwards. Getting in some more Ooh, bubbles. Oh, it's going over. <laughs> <laughs> I've never, never known anyone to panic so oh, much. You, this is the most disgusting smelling thing I've ever known in a bottle. And it's about to go out of the bottle and you are not phased whatsoever. I'm surprised because initially I got a waft of something and it was something completely different. And do you know what that smell was? It was something that is in there. It was like a similar kind of smell to the Magnum, which I did not get at all last time. There's still a kind of... I'm still getting that trace of nasty stuff, (laughs) but... It's not like it was when I smelled it before. Well, that kind of goes with what the guy said, doesn't it? Like, mm. it mellows. It just takes a moment. It just takes a moment to change your taste. I'm not going to drink it, though. No. I mean, if you've made progress in that, that's good. I think we'll come back to this. I mean, we're off to Costa Rica. We're not taking this to Costa Rica. We'll leave this, hopefully, with someone. If not, we'll leave it somewhere special, and maybe we'll come back for it. Um, it's a mosquito. <laughs> Pause the recording, though. So it's maybe mellowed slightly, but it's still not at the right level for us to drink. I don't want to risk it because we've got to get on a plane tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's worth it. And I think even the guy did say when he first had it that he threw up a lot, didn't he? And that's just something that, that you have to go through. And that's just kind of accepted. And I don't know if that's something that we want to accept right now. It's apparently made from tree roots. There's some kind of tree root in that. There. There's bark that is in certain things. We saw a film today about a girl getting healed from falling inside a tree. So we know that there's so much goodness to come from trees. Magnum is obviously a tonic wine. That's the most popular one. We went to a bar and they had 48 that all sold out within about an hour or something. So people love Magnum. That is their their drink of choice. Yesterday, was there anything you kind of thought that it reminded you of? I was trying to remember. And I think I know what it is. I think it's a kind of vodka Red Bull sort of smell but when it's a bit flat and a bit more kind of tangy there's something in there not a very good so good yeah i would say it's not my favorite taste but what do you reckon around the aroma yeah it's it doesn't smell good either it's kind of it's got a very sweet sweet smell yeah it's very sweet like syrupy cough syrup yeah i mean that's what i think of probably cough syrup our friend said it's her drink and it's just very medicinal and yeah i mean if it gets you a bit lively i'd say it's quite strong 16 and a half percent and it's easy to drink it doesn't taste like alcohol but it doesn't necessarily taste nice either let's go for it shall we it's very thick as well isn't it 
it's kind of the opposite of refreshing. Yeah, it's I would got say. that. It's not a refreshing drink. Fire in your mouth. Uh, sorry, fire in your throat. That kind of weird. But you've got like a coating around your tongue suddenly, which is not what you want from a drink that you're having. Yeah. Um, That's not a face of someone that likes what they're drinking, is it? It's not enjoyable to drink, but it's not that unpleasant. Like it's a bit like. It is a bit like some medicines are, really, yeah. where you're like, well, yeah, it doesn't taste that good, but, you know, if it's doing something for me. People drink it as a kind of regular thing, don't they? Like okay. a daily dose. If people are drinking this daily, then they have an alcohol problem. There's a famous song by a Jamaican artist, Gregory Isaacs, who did the song Night Nurse. So maybe we could do a reggae song about Magnum someday. Is, that, is Night Nurse around that? Because Night Nurse, the only thing I knew about Night Nurse before I knew the song was the advert. They used his song for but, the advert. But Night Nurse is not around, it's not a similar drink. It's not about like a similar drink, Night Nurse, that helps people. Like, what's the song about Night Nurse? If you know the answer to that question, write in on a postcard and send it to Blue Peter. I'm sure they'd love to receive it. No. <laughs> okay, um, I think we're kind of there, aren't we? We might make a song, as we said at the beginning, we don't have much energy left, even with a bit of magnum in there. It might kick in in a, in a few minutes or something, but uh, if it does, we'll let you know. If it doesn't, then we'll be asleep. <laughs> so thank you uh, for coming by. Uh, we'll have some more stuff for you over the coming months. Until then, it is a goodbye from us. My mouth tastes awful. Yeah, I've got, it's left a really strange taste. Really horrible in my taste. Mouth, yeah. I'm going to have some pina colada. So I've got some of that left over. That's much better. Thank you. Adios. Night, nurse. We're gone. Only pain is getting worse.